Don, uh, explain a little bit about the significance of the dedication of this building. Why was it done? Well, A.W. Farrell has been the architect of the agricultural engineering building as well as the much of the agricultural engineering profession, not only here at Michigan State University, but throughout the world. Every profession has their uh, great people and people that we sort of look to as mentors, and uh, certainly E.W. Farrell was one of those type of people. He's con contributed very greatly to our society uh, in a very humanitarian way and providing scholarships and recognition of people throughout the world. What are some of the uh, more detailed accomplishments that uh, Dr. Farrell was able to achieve? I think the greatest thing that he achieved was his contribution to graduate students. He, is, uh, he provided one of the quality and top graduate programs throughout the world here at Michigan State, and the graduates of the program now are in very influential positions throughout the world. Uh, we have about uh, 600 master and PhD graduate students uh, that have graduated from Michigan State in agricultural engineering or agricultural engineering technology. And over 200 of those are in international countries or countries outside the United States. And most of this was established during his time when the first agricultural engineering program in the United States was started here at Michigan State. Tell us a little bit about how that was uh, initiated and who was behind attracting Dr. Farrell. Well, probably the person that was most influential in having Dr. Farrell come to Michigan State was uh, President Hanna. And in 1945, uh, when President Hanna was president of Michigan State University, that uh, he uh, enticed uh, Dr. Farrell, who was in industry at the time, heading up a research uh, program, to come to Michigan State to build an outstanding graduate program, an outstanding research program, and the most modern agricultural engineering building in the world. And we feel that uh, the two of them got it all three accomplished. Did Dr. Farrell essentially start from scratch, including this building, when he started beginning this program? Much of the building was already planned before he came here, but it was really through him that modifications were made and all the, you might say, the bricks and mortar and uh, everything were put into place. And so we usually consider him as the prime architect of the building and in making sure that it was built. And of course, buildings are building, it's, uh, it's really the traditions, the people that go with the building. And he was able then to hire, uh, shortly after he came here, a very outstanding faculty that uh, made the bricks and mortar what they are today, and that is uh, the great programs, the graduates, uh, the, the people resources that have gone throughout the world. This dedication more or less highlights the American Society of uh, Agriculture Engineers here on campus this week. What role did uh, Dr. Farrell play within the society itself? Well, he's in very uh, major roles. First of all, bringing recognition to uh, outstanding performance. He also served as a national president of our American Society for Agricultural Engineers. He's uh, been a consultant. He's been recognized as, uh, as one of the true outstanding people in our profession. Is the summer meeting here at MSU considered one of the better that the uh, society itself has had in recent years? Well, we'd certainly like to think so. It's uh, extremely well attended. Uh, the attendance will be either the highest or one of the highest. Uh, we have more people here from more nations than ever before at any of our meetings. And I think that certainly is an indication to the programs that have been generated here at Michigan State over the years to bring these people back together and again they come from all corners of the world. From the standpoint of your present position, that being the chairman of this department, what do you foresee in terms of the mission of the department in future years and then secondly, where are we going in agricultural technology? Those are some pretty big questions that uh, we're all trying to answer at this time. And I think as we look ahead now to the 21st century that uh, as we look back in time, this department has had a tradition of leadership worldwide and we'd like to believe it will continue to lead us, uh, our profession and in helping the agricultural food industries as we move into the 21st century. Along this line that uh, immediately upon uh, completion of, of this meeting that uh, we've been awarded a, a grant by the U.S. Department of Agriculture to look at the future role of agricultural engineers or engineering in general in the United States Department of Agriculture. And we believe that um, grants like that coming to us, uh, also our, our Dean of Agriculture and Natural Resources being the national president of ASAE, uh, we feel that we are going to be called upon to help lead our profession into the 21st century. 
for archival experiences or, or uh, archival uh, purposes. Let's say that we're looking at this tape in the year 2000. What do you think is going to be the caliber of student or the type of person that's looking at this tape at that date? Well, if we knew that type of person, we'd know exactly what type of programs to be developing today. We would estimate that probably the type of person that we're going to look at is a person that has little or no background as far as a rural background, has an appreciation maybe for that type of, of a life, agriculture as we have typically thought of it. The student will be very sophisticated as we think of them today, will be very versed in the computers and the electronics, the technology associated with it. The student will be very knowledgeable, I'm sure, about such areas as genetic engineering, the biological sciences, and after all, that's really what we are. We're the application of engineering to the biological sciences. We would anticipate the students to be very much involved in, in higher technology as we think of it today.